Earlier this month, the world commemorated International Holocaust Memorial Day and there was a special event in Abu Dhabi. Dozens of Arab Israelis gathered with Emiratis and Bahrainis to commemorate and learn about the Holocaust and the internationally acclaimed American Israeli singer Nicole Raviv took part and she's with us in the studio. Good to see you, Nicole. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Before we talk a bit more um, about your experience, we're going to take a, a quick listen to you singing the Emirati National Anthem in Abu Dhabi just last week. Take a listen. of the Emirati National Anthem and, and there are quite a lot of words. How long did it take you to, to learn how to sing the whole anthem? It took about a few weeks. Um, I was working with the Emirati singer Ahmed Al Husseini. I've been actually training to sing in Arabic for the past year here living in Israel. Um, so first I learned the melody, how it goes, and then he made sure to teach me the words and the pronunciation and of course to learn what I'm saying. And the whole experience was really beautiful. Wow, so you don't speak Arabic? A little bit. I know how to sing in Arabic. Right. Wow. Yeah, clearly. Clearly. <laughs> uh, what kind of reception did, did you get over there, you know, an Israeli woman coming and singing the national anthem? So the Emirati hospitality is one of the most welcoming and inviting that I've experienced. Uh, we actually were hosted by a local political analyst, journalist uh, named Amjad Taha in his home. We know Amjad. There you go. The <laughs> and uh, he hosted us in his backyard in the true Arabic culture. We sat on the floor, we ate, we laughed, we danced, uh, we sang together. And it was really inviting. And we were a group, a big delegation from uh, Together Vouch for Each Other, led by Yusuf Haddad. And we were a few Jews, a few Muslims, Christians, Druze. And the whole experience was multicultural. And we were all very positive and hopeful that this is really a symbol of peace. Wonderful, that's wonderful to hear. And I mean, this event was uh, to coincide with uh, International Holocaust Memorial Day. I mean, uh, what did it feel like to be in an Arab country and there are people eager to really know more about what happened? It really feels like we are on the right track. Um, the whole point of us going there was to bring Holocaust education to the Arab world. They basically only know what everybody knows, six million Jews died in the Holocaust. They don't really know much else. So in order to speak to them and have this conversation, we held a ceremony there. And of course, there were performances, there were speeches, there was a video played about the delegation that went to Auschwitz for the first time. And the conversation was really moving. Everybody was curious to know and mainly really saddened to hear that something like this can happen. So I think as a granddaughter of Holocaust survivors myself, it was a mission of mine to go on this journey and represent Judaism, represent the mosaic of Israel, and to teach them about what we went through and most importantly about what happened before the Holocaust, how things led to a rise of anti-Semitism. And we're experiencing that online today. Um, so I think that this is something really important that I hope that the UAE and other countries follow along. Wonderful. Well, um, you also, you sang the uh, Emirati anthem in Arabic and you were also teaching Emiratis how to sing the Israeli national anthem in Hebrew. And I think we have a little clip of that. We can take a listen. This one is difficult for Ayun, Ayun. Ayn. Ayn. Like Ayn. 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 Exactly. Oh, love the Tikvatenu. The meaning of the national anthem in Hebrew is called Hatikva, the hope. Oh, very nice. And I feel his pain, the struggle with the eye, and I also struggle with the eye. But he did a good job, didn't he? He did a great job. He actually fell in love with the melody, and he told me that. That's what 
made him want to sing the song first. Are you, are you hoping to go back to the UAE anytime soon? Yes. Make new friends? I think it's just the beginning, so I hope to be invited back and to continue these ties thanks to the Abraham Accords. Yeah, we, I mean, we talk about that uh, a lot here on this show, of course. Do you think music is a, a really good way to bring people together? Oh, of course. I think that music is one of the best ways. Um, what do I have in common with Ahmed? We both are musicians. We both understand music. And I think the artists of the world World. It's our job to talk about what's important and do it in a lighter way and to inspire people. So I'm actually going to release a song in English, Arabic, and Hebrew soon. And ah, when can we expect that? Um, actually, March, April, towards Yom Mood. Right, okay. Yeah, so look out. We'll look out for that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But yeah, definitely music, art, theater um, are beautiful ways to allow the world to see things in a different perspective. Yeah, put the politics aside for a bit and just exactly. listen to the music. Feel the beat. Great to talk to you, Nicole. Thank you very Thank much you indeed. So Nicole Raviv, new song coming out in March, April. Look out for that. <laughs>